Yoki. Now it's time for our interview, and I'm really happy, happy girl, because I have a good friend of mine, Marlo Meekins, everyone. Yeah, yeah. You be proud of yourself, girl. Uh, Marlo, <laughs> Marlo, actually, uh, I met uh, doing my, my improv classes that I teach. She took one of my improv classes, has been doing it for, what, two and a half years now. Yeah. She keeps taking the improv. She absolutely loves it, is an absolute natural in it. Um, and what was that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the thing is that your career, one of the reasons that you started taking the class is because of your career, which is in... Again, like I'm not even sure if it was, car no, it's not cartooning, it's not animation, it's, what is it exactly? Um, I, okay, so I'm just like an artist, a cartoonist, I guess. Okay, it is a cartoonist. And I have worked in pre-production animation, which isn't actually the animating part. It's, it's the drawing the, of the pencil? Yes, right. Okay, so you're at home mostly though, in front of a computer, is that essentially what you do? Um, yeah, well right now I'm teaching um, as part of the animation program at Durham College. Right, so. and you do like um, game, is it game design? Or? Yeah, I do game design too. Okay, so, so and what's, is that technical kind of stuff or what? Um, some of it, um, some, I mean I teach like really pre-productions kind of stuff with game and animation, so. Okay. So when they want the heads to blow up or the woman <laughs> to lose her shirt, you're like, it draws like this. Is right, that, right, yeah. Is that I show them how to draw the breast. Realistically, the because they probably haven't yeah. seen any. Um, <laughs> now, also, it was kind of cool that you married a Canadian. You are actually an American yes, I originally. Am. What part? It was Pennsylvania, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it? I'm actually from New Jersey. Oh, no kidding, Jersey! Yeah. Awesome. But you grew up like so. You're there, or now? Why was it Pennsylvania in my head that you? Um, that's where I went to college. And, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so being American, coming to Canada is always a fascinating thing. <laughs> and um, one of the things that we were talking about before that we discovered uh, with the, the War of 1812, and you were taught what in school about the War of 18? Well, we weren't taught about it at all, like, <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it, well, at, at least the elementary school I went to and even high school, we weren't taught anything that wasn't patriotic. Okay, and so the so, fact that the Americans did not win the war of 1812. We barely even learned about it. Like, it was just not. Yeah. Well, I was saying uh, uh, in another episode that I had friends in the States that they were either taught that, they, that the Americans had won or that it was a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood how you can tie that kind of thing. And then also the thing that, um, so you're, you're here in Canada, and we're, tell me the story again about um, how uh, your husband Nick had to explain the Underground Railroad to you. How did you right. discover that? Well, uh, at least where I went to school, we were taught that um, instead of escaping to Canada, which is the reality, um, no, no, they, they stayed in the U.S. because the U.S. is so amazing, right? Okay. Um, they just went to other people's people that were nice they just went to their houses and, and how did they and, get there and they just walked there i thought there were underground tunnels like actual tunnels that they that led to other people's houses that's what i've also heard oh. <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy yeah i guess i don't know uh so in well america c can do no wrong that's what i guess that's that's the whole point right? or the states or whatever you guys call it u.s we call it the states and u.s well we call it america America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now you're here in Canada, and um, do you miss anything about being in America? Um, I like the warm, the weather. The warm? <laughs> the warm, yeah. The warm is nice. I like the not snow, the not the snowing. Not snowing. <laughs> yeah, the not snow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. They, they, they have snow in Jersey, don't they? Yeah, well, not as much. Not as much, okay. Yeah. That's that. And then in terms of the animation, um, you worked on The Simpsons mm -hmm. for how long? Just like a few weeks. <laughs> why, why did but you, everyone you always at, uh, talks about that because it's like a brand name, like yeah. just their average person knows but why what did, that why is. why did you leave? Um, well, I, I left because um, my, I have a friend that actually, he created the show Ren and Stimpy and he offered really? me a job. <gasps> nice. Working with him. So. Wow. Too bad that show's not still on the air. <laughs> no. <laughs> job there, Marlo. Why, you could have still been working on The Simpsons. What the hell's wrong? She's American. I don't know. Um, so, but you left because it was kind of boring though. Like, I mean, what were you? Well, it, it, I mean, it's sort of like a sweatshop. I mean, well, <laughs> a lot, a lot of um, animated shows are done overseas because it's cheaper right. and the pre-production is done in Canada or the U.S. Mm -hmm. But The Simpsons made their own sweatshop. <laughs> it's like a... It's and, they, and they hired redheads like yourself and put you <laughs> in a little room and said... Um, no I don't want to say too much about it. 
Okay. <laughs> kind of legal, <laughs> legal reasons and that kind of stuff. So you, so you worked on Ren Stimpy. Um, no, I didn't. My husband actually worked on no Ren Stimpy. No kidding. But wow. Well, we should be talking to him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just because you're American. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're here. So awesome. So you're you're doing your improv and you're that you also model. Well, I used to. That's amazing. Now I'm old. Now you're old. That's true. And fat. Yeah. And fat. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> we, that's right. We're a little happy. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. We will see you on the paper and on the stage. Uh, thank you, everyone. Marlo Meekin. <laughs>